Baby, we're going to invite you into the house. Maybe not in the house, but maybe on the porch. Give you some food. You know, ask you about your day genuinely. Mm-hmm. Y'all just not re- meeting the right people. What's good, y'all? It's the Demachettes, Demachettes React, React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today, we are back with another American reaction. We're super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that red subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road to 50K. And we cannot get there without you guys. All right. Thanks. Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Toronto, Canada. You can see the CN Tower back there hidden away. Really cool city to check out. And guys, we've been driving through Canada for a month and it's been fantastic. But even mm. places that I love, like here in Toronto or Quebec or Prince Edward Island, beautiful scenery, Anna Green Gables, all these great things. There's stuff we love and there's stuff we're not going to like. And that's what we have for you today. The five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Canada. Now let's get started with the bad news. The first thing you might not like about coming to Canada, I don't know how to put it this way, it's, it's more the remoteness. Now it can be cool being all remote and in the middle of nowhere with all the nature and everything, mm. and it's fantastic. But the issue is, is you have very big driving distances between some of the places. You know, if you're going from Prince Edward Island to, you know, Quebec, I mean, it's nine hour drive. Or if you're driving across Alberta or you're driving the Yukon Territories, you have this remoteness and you need to be careful. Make sure you're filling up on gas. Also, cell coverage can get spotty when you're in these remote areas. So, you know, let people know where you're going. I know hmm. that I say it's a hate about all this driving, but what's cool about driving in Canada the roads are good, they clean it off for the snow, the people are friendly drivers, they'll let you in. And that's one of the great things about it is you don't have a road rage when you're here. Hmm. They let you in. Hey, I, I love the fact that the roads are clear. Right. I love non-bumpy roads. That's a plus. Right. No potholes. None of them. The roads that he showed look just clean, look like it's a scenic route. But he said that the people let you in. Hey. We in Texas. We from Louisiana. <laughs> Louisiana, what, has the worst roads in the United States? I mean, yeah, you could say that. I know it was voted one year that it has the worst roads. And Texas, Texas is like jam-packed with a lot of people. Bro. So there's always traffic. Nobody lets you in. Y'all, it's so bad that people have, like, road rage top tier. They have created road rage. Yeah, they'll hop out and swing on you. Swing. Kick your tie. That's it? <laughs> Try to keep it red at all. Hell, you know what I'm saying? You hit a pothole so bad. Yeah, you hit a pothole so bad, you'll wake up in bed, bro. In bed. The hospital bed. <laughs> Some serious. Like, hey, be just like that. So, yes, you have a lot of driving to do, but at least it's not too stressful, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing you're not going to like about coming to Canada is the sales taxes and, well, the tipping you have to do. And Canada and the U.S. are very similar in that way, is that the price you see on the goods is one. But then there's sales tax added on top of it. Here there's a federal sales tax, also there's a provincial sales tax, and there can be other taxes put on there, and that can add up the price for anywhere from 5 to 20% of... That's their budget, though. You know what I'm saying? For them, this is norm. For people that's coming to visit, tours, anything like that, that it's fine. Okay. But for anybody that's coming to visit, they kind of might be out your break and you'd be like, yo, I can't believe I just spent that much. I'm not used to spending that much. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that yeah. could be a give and take. That's a, like how you say a preference. Right. I thought Canada was one of those places where, you know, they didn't have the mandated tipping thing. But oh, he yeah, makes yeah. it sound like they do, so... Let us know if that's true or not. Yeah. Because y'all already know we have talked about tipping culture in the United States before. And you guys, yes. we know that we know y'all are opinions about it. Okay. And excuse my yawning. I am a mother. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the sticker price. So be prepared. So if you go someplace and it's, oh, it's a dollar menu. Well, it's not, it might not be a dollar. It might be more than that. So you have to pay attention to the taxes on there. 
Also, you do tip here in Canada between 15 and 20 percent when you go to a sit-down restaurant. And that's one of the things that some of my European travelers and Asian travelers, when they come to the U.S. and Canada, they kind of complain about why do we have to tip? Why don't they give them a living wage? Listen, travelers, this is part of the culture here. You tip 15 to 20 percent. So that second thing you're going to hate, the sales taxes and the tipping when you go out to eat can add up. 20 to 40 percent more yeah. onto your final bill when you're going out to eat, drink, make merry, and these kind of things. So just be prepared for that. The third thing you're not going to like about coming to Canada, I want to call it the empowered crosswalkers. Wherever you go in Canada, the, the, the pedestrians have the right of way and they mm -hmm. know it and they don't even, huh. they just put green and they just go. Okay? <laughs> That's funny. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people literally like, they get in the crosswalk right when it starts to turn and they like walk so slow <laughs> and they don't even look at you you're like come on come on and they just go slow and it's funny because when you're driving you almost have to check out you know half a block down a block down are there any bikes coming is there anybody running because i got to be prepared to stop for them if i'm making my right turn right, and these right. empowered crosswalkers though they're doing nothing wrong do get a little frustrating and i know like we were in ottawa yesterday and this lady was actually jaywalking, which you don't see too much here. And a bus is coming. She goes, oh, my. And she just keeps walking <laughs> nice and slow across mm -mm. the street with her five kids. I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> Not the kids. So the bus stop in the middle of the intersection and everything. But it is the, these empowered crosswalkers. <sighs> Just get on your... Now, yeah, I, I can agree. That could probably be a little difficult to deal with because mm -hmm. I'm a speedy driver, you feel me? Right. So I have to be focused on the signs. So let me, like, tell me where are these crosswalks at so I know where to slow down. Yeah, my thing is I don't want to be in no type of scenario with Right, that. that's the difference. At all. So <laughs> you ain't got that to worry about with me. I'm driving slow. <laughs> you ain't got that Every to worry intersection. about with me. <laughs> For real. There's a little bit, okay? And with that, be careful the bikers when you are driving around because even if you're on the in some of the highways i know when we drove from maine to prince edward island i mean there was a few accidents that were almost caused at exits because the bikers bikes i mean like pedaling bikes they're on the side of the highway and you got to pay attention for them so that's that's kind of the third thing you're not going to like is the empowered crosswalkers and bikers here in canada okay just quickly we do know that there are some places, a lot of places in Europe where the bike culture is, like, really big. Yeah. When you're dealing with a culture like the United States and Canada that does not have a big bike culture like that, we have, um, what, do, what do you call bike it, lanes. bike lanes that's, yeah, like, right lanes. alongside the roads. And it's, like, we're driving right alongside of the bikers. And sometimes the bikers would get in the lane with the car and go so slow. So slow, like right, and they got a nerve to do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and the type of people we are, baby, we're a whole length of a car away from you because we don't. Nope, no, nah, just give me space. I'm gonna go around mm -mm. in the heartbeat. What else you might not like about Canada? Well, let's move to another place and check that part out. So now we're in Prince Edward Island in Charlottetown, beautiful place to go check out. Really like Prince Edward Island. And behind me, you have the Province House. This is where kind of beginning ideas of Canada took shape 150 years ago. Oh. So the fourth thing you might not like about when you come to Canada is it's not cheap. Now, it's not super expensive, especially if you get outside of Toronto and Montreal, which are in Vancouver, which are very expensive. You get outside, you're going to spend more than you would in the U.S. or I would say in some parts of Europe as well. So that's one thing you're not going to like. Um, so prepare for that. Basically, it's one to one U.S. dollar versus Canadian dollar. And prices are just a slightly bit higher here but just be prepared for that it's not going to be a cheap vacation it's not going to be super expensive but it is more expensive than traveling in the u.s especially if you're looking at gas lodging and food okay now the fifth thing you might not like about when you come to canada is one of the things that most likely if you're a tourist you're probably not coming at this time except extremely cold like this here. Some rocks. so make sure if you're going to plan your trip to canada the best times to come late spring, so May, June, July, August, September. Those are the months you really want to focus on. Now, there are some beautiful things to see. You know, you got the, the winter markets and the winter fairs in, in Quebec and these kind of things that are cool. So just know that it can be extremely cold here in the summertime, okay? So just be prepared for that. Now, those are just five little things you might not like about Canada. It is a fantastic place to visit. We've gone to Toronto, Montreal, Quebec City here. I mean, more of the center to the east, but it's a great place to go. And that's why, let's get into the five things you're going to love. And the first thing you're going to love about Canada, and the really big difference you're going to see is 
is the thing is it's the nature here. There's amazing yeah. natural beauty here. Whether you go to Lots the Banff National mm -hmm. Park or you go to a Thousand Islands Parkway driving down there, Niagara Falls, coming here to Prince Edward Island and seeing the coast and all kinds of stuff. It is truly a beautiful place, a beautiful country. And when you drive around, you're literally going to look outside the windows of your car and when you're going by or you're taking your tours and you're going to love it because it is gorgeous here. So take the time to do some hikes, go to the beaches, go to the national parks or the provincial parks. Algonquin Provincial Park, if you're by Toronto or Ottawa, a nice little place to go in between the two. It's beautiful here. And nice, when you come nice. in the fall time, you know, it's starting to get a little chilly, but when the leaves change, it is unbelievable. And the sun rises on the east coast and the sun sets on the west coast. Oh, they're just to die for. And mm -hmm. that's the first, that's just because, you know, the first thing I love about Canada is the natural beauty. It is just gorgeous here. Now, the second thing you're going to love about coming to Canada are the people. I mean, these people are freaking awesome. They are so friendly. We know. They are so helpful. I mean, we've gone all over the, all over the, you know, like I said, from basically Toronto to Prince Edward Island, and everybody, all the hotels, all the restaurants, everybody's been Ooh, super friendly. Oh, I just thought about something. What's that? Okay, before I say what I thought about, first of all, why do y'all think we don't know about the Underground Railroad? <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, we have a lot of um, comments on some of our recent Canada videos mm. that was like, I know you don't know about this, but the Underground Railroad came here and it just... Yeah, like I think I think I think some people <laughs> just like to be a little informative about things. I don't think they want to say that. Well, they probably do want to put it like that. Yeah, but now nah, we know. Yeah. I think just want to. They want us to know. They know that we know. Okay, okay. No, they okay. want us to know that okay. they know. Yeah, nah, yeah. We know. We know. That's a good perspective. Yeah. Cause you know sometimes I be a little bit feisty. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would love to know if there are. <clears throat> this is something I haven't re researched. Mm -hmm. Um, about Canada and our upcoming trips to Canada. Where are the museums for the Underground Railroad? Okay, yeah. I want to go there. Yeah, map it out. Yes. And super helpful. They're giving us tips on what to see, what to do, what not to do, what you should do on the third time you come back to visit Montreal. It's fantastic, but the people are so nice. And I know we talk about, you know, Americans being like the superficial nice sometimes. Well, the Canadians are super nice and they're very genuine about it. And they really enjoy when tourists come here and they want to help you have a great time. And so it's kind of funny because it's... Hey, like he's actually out there. He got to say it. You heard it out of his mouth himself. So, hey. I just want to know, when y'all say superficial niceness, friendliness, whatever, are y'all coming to the South? Because the people we are, our grandmas and nannans and <laughs> pyrans mm -hmm. and TVs. That's the ones. Baby, we're going to invite you into the house. Maybe not in the house, but maybe on the porch. Give you some food. You know, ask you about your day genuinely. Mm-hmm. Y'all just not re meeting the right people. See, that's why the Democrats try to tell y'all a lot about our Southern culture. Facts. Because, see, there's the United States of America, and then there's the South, and then there's Louisiana. Okay? Different cultures in all three. I promise. <laughs> France, you know, when I talk to French people, they're all like a mini tour guide for their city. Here in Canada, it's the same thing with the people. You meet people, they'll literally try to plan your vacation for you because they oh, want to be that helpful. That. And they are just <laughs> yeah, a hundred, yeah. Friendly. And that's one of the things you really enjoy about coming here. It's just going out, and you can walk down the street. People will come and talk to you. You can that's talk beautiful. to them, and it's just, it's just a fun thing to meet like these people. Okay. Color. So those are the two things. Color those are the first on, two yeah. things you love. Now, what are the third thing you're gonna love? Now, let's go see another part of Canada to add on to that. So the third thing you're gonna love about coming to Canada. Oh, we're in, by the Marché Bon Secours. We're in Montreal now. Cool Marché city, very Bon-Secours. cosmopolitan Bon-Secours. city. Mm. And the third thing you're gonna love about coming to Canada is dun, 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 the multiculturalism here. Yes, we all know about the French and English influence, but Canada is different than the U.S. In the U.S., it's a melting pot. You come to the U.S. and you're kind of forced to integrate. Canada celebrates those eccentricities, those differences of culture, and lets you be yourself, lets you keep your culture from home. We just ate a great rodizio from Brazil, drank Portuguese beer, had, you know... <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry. Look, I know sometimes they be feeling like we're defending things and all of that, but we're only going to be honest. Mm -hmm. That is not true everywhere. I don't know what parts of the United States y'all have, you know, 
moved to or whatever, but the culture we've grown around, we have our culture, you know, the Creole culture, Cajun culture. I'm speaking of in Louisiana. But I remember, like, high school, I had a lot of friends whose families were from Laos. And they would have, what, the Laos New Year's, I think it's called, or, or the New New Year's, something like something that. Something like that. And we embrace that. Yeah. <laughs> and as, you know, being black, I'm black, let's let's say it, there was so many black people who would go attend that, you know, because our friends were of that culture. Yeah. We embrace cultures. We have Af- African cultures from people who is from African, I mean, Africa. Right. In um, you know, Louisiana, like the French people who people who are from France. So it's different cultures. Like especially we have a big Asian um culture in Louisiana as well. So it's like when when I hear people say, Oh, when you move to the United States they're not gonna embrace your culture. No, that's not where true. y'all getting that from? Like we have temples yeah. and all of that. So where I, I don't I just don't get where, where did we get that from? Yeah, like, one thing that we do down here in the South is we embrace cultures, and, like, regardless of where you're from, what walk you come from, mm-hmm. we're going to always try to, like, we don't even try. We just mend with it. Right. You feel me? Whether it's a dance, yeah. especially whether it's food, even if it's, like, from wardrobe, like, we look at the beauty in it. We don't never try to right. shy away from it unless it's something that's just out of our character. I mean, we're going to respect you <laughs> we're gonna to do respect it. it but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Don't bring that over here. <laughs> and one thing that we good at is, like, not making fun of, but, like, right. like making, creating laughter to ease up the moment. Because a lot of people mm. may think that, oh, they're not going to be interested in right. what I do or my type of culture or the food that I eat or my language or, you know mm. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, from the side, like, we love that type of stuff. Right. You know what I'm and saying? And I think we debunk that on the channel. We have reacted to the wildest of the wildest things. Craig, we yep, have reacted yep. to what was that? That village, the cannibal village. Oh, that was a while back. Though. Yeah, that was like two years ago. Yeah, like we react to so much stuff, and the purpose of that is, you know, introducing ourselves and our supporters who are watching things for the first time through us. We have even had people who say, oh my God, I forgot that was a part of my culture. Facts. Thank you yeah. for showing that on the channel. That's what so we do. for mm-hmm. us, you know, we, we are bringing the world together. Whether you believe it or not, whether you helping us get to 50K or not, ultimately mm-hmm. 1 million eventually, we know what, what our purpose is on this channel and we feel that we are accomplishing that. So I don't know what, where y'all get that from because we are Americans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if we are the only Americans that you ever encounter in life, just know that like Americans are respectful. Americans are not all dumb and ignorant how y'all have heard in the media. Mm-hmm. Okay. Made in Chinatown here, which felt almost like we were back in China where we used to live. And the thing is, you have this multicultural, you have this multicultural aspect of Canada that is totally awesome. From the people, the food, the cities. Yes, you do have the really cool French European influence in Quebec, but also the English influence. If you go to Prince Edward Island and other places, you really get this feel, and it's awesome. So that's the third thing you're gonna love is the multicultural aspect of Canada. The fourth thing you're gonna love about coming to Canada is there's something for everybody. Whether you're my little kid playing in the dirt, or you're my son who likes to go hiking into the beach, or my wife who loves architecture, or me who loves just to you know relax and enjoy a beer or fun or mm-hmm. festivals. You know, Canada has beer. something for yeah. everybody. And what's cool is they have these big cities like yeah, Montreal. Dope. But you know what? In 15 minutes, you can be outside, outdoors in the wilderness. And it is so cool. And they do have something for everyone. The Jazz Festival here in Montreal, skiing by Vancouver, going to the National Banff National Park or the Provincial Parks, Al- Algonquin. There's so much oh, to cool. do and I'll, see I'll here yeah, in Canada really nice. for everybody. The historical cities, the historical towns, going to see the old town of Quebec, going to Prince Edward Island, exploring in the territories, fishing. I mean, it is just a fantastic country. And there's something for everybody here. And then the fifth thing you're going to love about Canada, I'll be honest, it's the poutine. <laughs> I was waiting for him to talk about some food well, now. Poutine, Come on. If you don't know what poutine is, this is it's the basically, fries, it has a lot of different variations. Like the fries but the and the base gravy. base is the same. Like it. French fries with cheese curds on top with and gravy. then gravy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes people put meat on top or bacon and stuff, but the basic is French fries 
cheese curds, and gravy. And it is the most quintessential Canadian dish you have to have. It doesn't matter if you go to a fancy restaurant, they'll have poutine. Or you can go to the A&W, you know, fast food place, they have poutine. It's everywhere here, and it's fantastic, and you Must have be, to eat it. Must be, because he's talking and about with it. with that poutine, I'd say number five is the Canadian culture that is here, with the food, with the drinks, with the hockey and all these things, you love it, and you learn to love it while you're here because the people have this pride in their country, and know it's more than just putting their flag on their backpack when they travel. It's all the stuff that's here. Yes, when you watch TV here, you'll see hockey in every commercial. The candy does have a lot of maple syrup flavors, <laughs> and the poutine I is understand. awesome. You've got to eat it. The beer is fantastic. There's a reason why we drink Canadian beer in the U.S. It's because it's good. And all these Canadian culture things, these little differences, really make it a fantastic place. Because, you know, Canadians sometimes get upset, and Americans get upset, when people say, oh, Canada and the U.S., they're the same. No, we are very mm -hmm. different. And some of those cultural differences really make Canada fantastic. And the ones I like to focus on are the food, like the poutine. Oh, the duck in Quebec is fantastic, okay? Also, the beer and, the, of course, the maple syrup, which is silly, but it is really dang good here. And these things, and all these things combined, really make Canada fantastic. So those are my five things you'll love and hate about visiting Canada. If you want more stuff, five things you'll love about here in Montreal or Prince Edward Island, or Toronto, or all other places, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter. Okay, guys, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Y'all be giving him a hard time. Yeah, that for is For some true. reason. Yeah. Yeah. So, like this video, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our join feature <laughs> to become a vip member of this channel all right check out the description box below we'll see you soon peace, peace.